Hey everybody, welcome to my video. In this video, we're going to discuss um, harvest locations. So places where you can go to harvest specific mats and that you need and um, general mats that we're going to need. Now, um, the first two, video, uh, first two locations are locations that I farm pretty extensively. Um, now, I don't know the respawn on them. But basically, I've gone after a few hours and haven't respawned. So every four or five hours, I normally go there um, if I'm playing a long session and I farm it. So normally at the beginning of a gaming session, at the end of the gaming session. So, and um, because they, they they do have a lot of recipes and other stuff that drop off from them. But the second one, which is Cold Harbor, you don't have to unlock straight away in the game. But the first one, which is in Morrow Window, Vanderfell, as it's called, is uh, you can go there from the very beginning. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first farming location I'm going to show you is Dreelof Ancestral Tomb. Now, this is in Vordenfell or Morrowind, and to, to get there, you want to go to Sadaf Mora Way Shrine first. Now, that's on the east, middle east of the Morrowind map. And the way, the way you get there is you go to the Vivek City Way Shrine and just, you know, around the corner north of it, there's a dock and there's a there's a navigator who will take you there um, or take you elsewhere to other locations as well. So if you go to Santa Mora and then I'll basically show you how to get there from there. As always, this is our way across the universe. Probably should have dumped my stuff in the bag before this, but... To get the mission to end to what we're going to do, you want the mission from this lady here. Now, I already got the mission earlier because I said I recorded this earlier and it basically, um, it didn't record. So that's, that's all good. I'll show you basically, um, you can do the mission yourself. You get that mission from that girl. I forgot to show on the map where we were. We're just here. So. If I didn't show it before, because I get forgetful. Now, we loot these urns. And this spot can take a while to respawn. I don't know the, the timer on it, but sometimes it's gone back two, three hours later and it hasn't all respawned. So maybe I was unlucky. I come here about a couple of times a day, but um, yeah, every four or five hours basically it's when I'm doing stuff. So. Now we got the moves here to kill. And this is a great place to pick up cooking recipes. So if you're about to to go up to the next stage of cooking and provisioning, then we're basically um, we're not there now. And if you're about to provision to the next stage. You don't want to come here until you've gone to the next stage. If it's going to be the same day, that way you can find recipes for your new level, not for this current level. Oops. You can also find rare furnishing items here, purple stuff. 
back inside for a bit of money. So, yeah, the next step the quest will take you to go in here. And the reason for we've got the quest is because we uh, it unlocks this door here. Otherwise, you can only loot the first two areas. Uh, we've got a motif already got, so we'll delete that. We are in good health, so we know the wood elf motif. Yeah, when you come in a mission here, there'll be like a kind of bat-like devil that appears here, and he walks from place to place, but he's easy to kill, basically. And the NPC who's with you runs away like a little girl, but that, that's part of the story, I guess. He is an archaeologist, or well, a triad archaeologist, so he's obviously not Indiana Jones. a bow and a, something else here but not today sometimes some things are here some things are not okay now. this takes you slightly outside and you can go back and talk to the girl but we don't want to do that but as i said just to make sure you know this is the, it's the same girl who you speak to to get the mission and that's so uh, basically um and um, basically you don't handle it in because then she gets sent off to the other side of Morrowind over here somewhere and that crypt every, that when I went there to check it out there were urns there but they were all empty so you know this place is a nice place we can and once you do can in the mission you don't get access to the other area anymore so you want to keep the mission open and keep coming back here every now and then Coal Hub is a great place for a new player to loot. Um, there's so much stuff here and none of it can, is stolen, so you don't have to worry about guards or anything. There are herbs all over the place, but Coal Hub is a very heavily cared place. Basically, it's a pretty popular place, so a lot of the herbs are taken. Now, you, as a new player, you won't have this unlocked straight away. But once you, when you do the main storyline, you will do it to Cold Harbor. Um, then basically you'll find not all the buildings will be unlocked until you do the missions on the bottom half of the map. And um, you'll find that will slowly unlock the buildings here around the town. So, but in this case, I've unlocked them just to show you them all. Now, I've also waited till it's, a, it's a, technically Tuesday morning, like, you know, almost 1am Tuesday morning for me. So, for you guys who are behind the times and probably upside down, it's still Monday. So, it should be all good now. Good thing at Cold Harbor, when you're in vampire form, the merchants, he will still talk to you as well. So, hmm. that was a person. Yeah, you can run around Cold Harbor however you like to, but uh, this is the order I do it in. And you'll often find when you go into buildings, 
the nodes can respawn like so you always double check where you've been because you'll find especially these herb nodes there's always people after them people with this one. Some of these buildings don't have too much, but everything's worth something, so you should always check. Guild unlocks when you do a quest that starts around here and you take care of the Great the Black Forge and then the Great Chapel up here. So you have to rescue Vanus. It, it will, I will be doing a video, well, I've already done the video, but you'll see the video at the latest, in the latest chapter.
one I forgot to mention before, if you do run out of space in your inventory, you can deconstruct stuff around here, or you can go dump stuff into your bank. So it's not a big deal. Or if you really want to, you can hit G and go to your guild hall and just come back to the same spot. Whatever the rocks you boat. Some of these items Some of these items don't always spawn to it's just random. This part, not many people come out here, and especially during the weekdays. Well, unless they're doing quests and stuff. But when they're just living in Cold Harbor, they don't come out this door and it's beneficial. Heavy crate, and ninety percent of the time, no one's come out here, so they haven't looted it. We'll go around and check that. Thank you. 
This house barely has anything, but I'll keep looking at it anyways. I think that was the only thing. I always try to look down here to see if you can see any that spawn. We come back around the other side later and sometimes things spawn while you're here. This little looking cranny sometimes has some. People often miss it. making the jury space. Did you hear someone actually escaped from, from the lightless oubliette? Okay, 
we're getting close to the full floor wall right here. Both here. back in here in a minute doing this again but this cleans up some space for more stuff and while this stuff doesn't give us too much it, uh, crafting XP it does help a bit so and we do get a small amount of mats from it from the staff sitting there and here is a couple of staff too deconstruct this so you can deconstruct it later but I go here, I'll forget about this spot.
rarely anything in pop barrels, but I check anyway. There have been a few I suppose I could use another break. No, not only he'll come up here. Now, the, this is the thing, uh, Fighters Guild. Now, technically, their quest to unlock it starts just around here, and you've got to do a three part quest. As I said, the video is done. You'll be in a further chapter than this video. check If 
one way we at the bank. Basically, it and now you go to the bank, dump everything in your bank, and all that. The Harvest Map add on has a really nice feature called the farm, uh, farming, uh, farming tour. Now, as you can see, um, Rhea and Craig are on here. Now, if you hit the calculate tour button, it probably won't work. Oh, it does work <laughs> for once, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Now, generally. Um, it often doesn't work because um, you have too many things filtered in your map over here. So what you do, let's say you're looking for wood, you unfilter it all. If it doesn't work, you know what I mean? And then you hit the calculate tool button. Take us somewhere different, that's cool. Often you can do the same calculator tool and it'll take you somewhere completely different. I normally leave this as default as well. Now, you can edit the tool as you want and you can save the tools. As you can see, I have some tools saved here. And um, what you can do, oops. This one's really nice, but um, yeah, anyways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tour. And I'll show you now. The trick was once you've done your you've done your tour, you re-click the other nodes you might be interested in. Yeah, chest heavy sacks. We don't want that. Don't need that, don't need that. We'll do that. Now, as you can see, I can click on a particular node, which is where I want to start from. Now, where am I? Oh, I'm not far away, am I? Okay, we'll start the tour um, over here. Now, the other thing you want to do is move this down because it defaults above the screen level. So, yeah, as you can see, we can't actually see it. It only appears when we get close. But on the left hand icon, you can see general direction where we have to head to. For some reason they didn't take that. Now, ooh, I'm third person here. Now, as you can see, As soon as I get to a node, it changes where you have to go. And you can check the other nodes while you're in the area.
I'd get back to that one maybe later on, but we're here. We might as well grab it. Okay. Just because we're looking for wood does mean we can't collect a lot of stuff. Once you get invisible for a significant amount of time, they run away. That's the bonus, getting invisible. <laughs> Down there, so we don't pull up. Oh, well, we're gonna be fighting him anyway. And that's the basic of using the farming editor anyways. The Vile Mans, which is the public dungeon in Reaper's March, as you can see up here. Now to get here, you when you go to, to uh, that horrible cat place, uh, and through the transport system, it automatically unlocks this waypoint, so you can easily wait, make your way up to here. Now, there's a sky shard here, and a sky shard here you can get while you're there. So, and I am coming here to do the Sky Shard and the Public Dungeon boss, uh, group boss, in a few minutes after I've done this video anyways. But right now, this is the farming video for, because there's so many cooking ingredients and some rare, well, rarer cooking, video, uh, cooking materials here that people love coming here. Personally, I stick to Coal Harbour and the Tomb in uh, Morrowind, or Vanifel as it's called. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I am a lootaholic. Okay. Just pull outside. Alright, there's two more. So we've done that every spot. Yeah, I've got 
this time when he said, bookcases are, there's, there's still a chance of me finding a book I haven't found, but yeah, here is a really good spot. It's the usual barrels, which you always loot, even if you got tons of ingredients, but you can get wax and stuff from it. Now, here, garlic. And what was there another garlic? Um, I think there's another garlic that spawns there too, but I can't remember. Oh, we don't hit bread, but I picked it up anyways. It's no biggie. Yeah, there's often some other stuff. Yeah, especially if you need garlic, all you do is go out the door at this point in time. Once you've looted upstairs and rinse and repeat, basically, it will respawn unless you get the mission, and I'll show you that in a bit. Yeah, I've done all that, so let's go upstairs. on a mission. Okay. Yeah, been in here. Okay, now if you let me now at this point if you go outside uh, things will randomly respawn as they always do. But once we get this mission and I think if you go downstairs which has got more stuff I'll show you Basically, you'll be for you find yourself. Um, you we won't respawn. I'm not too sure to respawn time. Somebody said an hour, but they said I don't come here that often to get the mission, get the boots, get the key from here. Before I forget, I want that. We are doing the group dungeon bosses. I'm going to kill a few just for this really part of this video.
criteria. This is why people come to say here. So much cheese here, and I don't even know how to get gather it more. Sometimes I find if I'm on an angle, I can get some more of it. Sometimes sneaking. Not today. But if you want cheese, you, you know, and you want a lot of it. More up here. Yeah, you probably can grab more there, but um, yeah, you can see there's lots more cheese everywhere. So basically, that's the end of the farm here. So basically, as you can see, you can get a fair number of cooking ingredients, things like garlic and cheese. So uh, a lot of people have trouble finding garlic, most of all. And I said, the upstairs area, I think two garlics born on one. The next one is Davin's Watch. Now that's here, so that's, we can, we go on with the way, so that's cool. Where are we going right now? There's a small area where the stuff isn't you can actually take and it's not marked as stolen i just got to remember where it is well it's a stolen still oh, here we are yeah honey and flour are kind of harder to get so basically this is really good for that get some of the nuts around the place. Okay, now we've looted there. We jump down to here. And we've got all that. Okay, yep. <laughs> Get over to here. We've got to check there's no more different stuff we can move. Then it is in the middle of the Then we go to this boat, I think it is. Wait, no, it's the other boat. Yeah, that takes us to Mordor. Now we really want to go to Mordor to unlock the waypoint. Right now, we're not going to do that. Okay, and what we don't do, we just go back down and watch. Sometimes they said the individual crates don't respawn. I forgot about these in here. And basically we just rinse and repeat. You just keep doing that until basically you've got as much as you want. And that's how you get a lot of flour and honey. So, 
and you keep doing it and you keep doing it. Cooking mats don't really sell for much, except for maybe the rare ones which you get when you're cooking, which is under provisioning. When you unlock the Forager Hyaline, you got a chance for a rare, two rare mats, which some, some recipes do need, so basically, um, those two rare mats could sell for a bit more, I can't remember the prices they sell for. Okay, the farm game, a really good spot is here in Alakir Desert, and we've got the Goat's Head Oasis Waste Shrine just here. Now, this is a very popular spot because of the dolems, and a lot of people run around Alakir looking for dolems, so while you're farming game, you can basically visit Dolem now. There's goats, obviously, I think these people are killing the goats at the moment. See, there's dead goats. And all along, just look all along here. Um, I said somebody's killing him at the moment, that's fine. There's him up there, around here. See, there's one there. And you continue along here. There, we got some game there. It's not a hundred percent drop. You kill them by the time they're spawned, unless somebody else is killing them. I think there's more over there, yeah. You can go all the way back into there and basically kill more, so it's pretty much an unlimited supply of game. Okay, now we have Bankori Pass Way Shrine and we're heading down to here. So, and what we're gonna farm is torch. Bug torso or torus or something like that. We have to find a way inside. Yeah. They're all over this lake. There are some bears who get hot fire. Yeah, just did really calm one. With this block is we're also getting tons of insect parts which can be used in fishing. Now fishing can be really boring for some people because all you do is just sit there and you sit there and you fish and you fish and you fish and, you fish. and it takes a lot of fish to basically um, to basically because what most people fish for is for perfect growth which also sells about 70 80 thousand gold but and a, it's basically a 1% drop rate. So basically you have to fill up the fish when you catch it, and out of 100 fish, you might get one, depending on random gen, of course. So sometimes you can be unlucky, and you fill up 600 fish and get two or three. And sometimes you can fill up 20 fish and get, you get a few of them just from that. So it's all random gen. But I normally don't fill it unless I've got a whole bunch of it. It seems to improve my odds.
push button thorax isn't always a perfect drop, but there's a big getting the flies anyway, so. They've already respawned, so they think it. <laughs> and you basically reach and repeat and keep running around this lake until you got what you want. To get mud crab critter, um, one good place for it to, to get it is Alakir and Sentinel now. You can get the boat here from um, River Spire, so it's really easy to get to instead of running from the Way Shrine, which is just here. And um, now at the moment, there's an endeavor that says to afflict enemy with poison. So I have a quick poison, so we'll see if that affects the crabs. Yeah, it does. Cool. Excellent. Now, that's the first spot. But uh, I normally only come here if basically the other spots run out, so because the other spots are closer together. Some people also farm um, leather from these guys too. Ah. Yeah, my stamina's gone down. Basically, you rinse and repeat, you go back to the first. This area here, you'll see these skeevers. Now, a lot of people say to go to the rift. Now, around here, there's a whole bunch of cats, and you can kill them, and they could drop leather. Now, I wonder if I've got any leather at the moment. Let's see. Uh, hold on, clothing. No, we haven't picked up any of them. That's okay. Now, because we make medium armor, we want leather. And the, the animals in general drop them. But those cats are about 60 uh, HP. And these skeevers are yeah, 13k HP. So you might as well kill the skeevers. Oh. They die much easier and you get leather scrap from them. So this is where I go farming for them myself. And there's a lot of things here, there's chests around my place. There's a delve here which we won't go into now because we're doing more in the video. Now this is much more uh, easier with that uh, AOE I showed you before. I'm just running down and running around and show you how there's divers, there should be chests around here. If there's runes I'm going to pick them up because we need runes. Aha! Uh, there's no sack there, so that's okay. Yeah, 
There's no more down there here. I think there's a couple down there. I said there's more skeeves up around here. I said some other people are here. In around here. Just whole general area. Basically there's skeeves here all over the place. So and around here. And while you're farming there, down there is a golem dolem. So you can farm the, the skeevers and whenever the dolem and happens, you can go farm that as well. So it's double double thing, so double benefit. Now where did those stupid squirrels go? I missed them, I was too busy talking. Well we wanna get up there. later again as well because we are going to be doing um, group dungeons in um, basically uh, and that, that we'll be killing a lot there so we might as well keep it for that so here we're going to show another spot and it's a wood gathering spot and so we got tons of wood now so here we're going to head to so let's see if we can put a waypoint now while we're here I came here this cry shard here is locked behind a mission to get access to it. Now, you get the mission from this chick here, and it ends up just over there, and there's another mission you get from there. It's not a storyline mission, and that um, you end up unlocking that mana to get that cry shard. But we're not here now for that. down here and the first location is just in here as you can see there's a bit of wood here and so this is I pointed this in a different video this is a crafting location where you can create a unique set. Now, I'm not too sure which unique set that is. Death's Wing, okay. Most of loot stuff will be here. See if there's anything else we can loot. You there? Please, please help us. the note gives me permission. I don't feel like doing it. I'm not interested in it. You'll feel free to do it yourself. Right 
place. Bugloss is not a bird that people like to buy. You there? Please. Where are you going? Please come I don't back. come here often, so to farm wood, because generally you get enough from when you're uh, running around because you don't need that much wood in general. But sometimes, if you want to get the upgrade <coughs> materials, harvesting wood's a nice way of getting it. So. And as I said, as you just saw, you can get hardwood, so... Without actually getting into combat. <laughs> and so you continue going over there as well. It's up to you how much wood you need and as you can see we did grab a bit of wood from that and then you can just go back to the beginning and do it again some recipes you need fish and sometimes you can find it in the wild but the best way to get fish of course is to go fishing now one of the benefits of fishing is you can get perfect row now i don't have any on me because it is pretty hard to get this and i'll explain that in a second but what I can do is link it in chat. Give me a second. There we are. And as you can see here, um, I said it's used in some very important recipes like Psychic Ambrosia, and, um, which is an XP buff. Um, and you can make a bit of money selling it too. As I said, it's worth a tiny bit. But the percentage off to get it, because without my percentage on this character, of course, it hasn't been set, is about 1%. Now, so you, your best fish, you can collect at least a full stack of 200 fish before you fill it, I found it seems to give you a better chance to get one or two of them. But sometimes you can have bad luck, and sometimes you can have really good luck. So often, um, I do sometimes spend hours fishing because I'm often doing something on another screen and all I have to do is just hit a button whenever the fish is ready to be pulled in as I'll show you in a second. Now, let's get this dragonfly. Now, for fishing you need the right, you need bait and you need the right kind of bait for that particular fishing hole. Now, at the moment I don't have many, I've only got two crawlers but that's good enough. And now you wait for the, till the fish is ready to be pulled in. Now 
Now, that isn't the right door of fish. But that's good. Yeah. Let's hope we get a real fish this time. an add-on that lets me fill it whole stacks at a time it's called fish fillet and basically what it does when I've got a full stack or just just a couple of them I can see hit the button fill it all stacks and it fill it all the stacks of the fish and basically by fish once you fill it in, it comes up like this so or you can sell the fish and hope somebody else um, gets lucky or unlucky and you basically just make money off the fish it's up to you I normally feel like that now. I'll show you on the map where we go. The first, because this area is pretty big. Now, you've got all the fishing holes around here. And a fishing hole normally holds about 50, up to 15 fish. But if you got more people with you, which does increase your chance of getting rare fish, basically, the, they, could, they take some of those fish away. It's not 15 per person, it's 15 total. So, it does... You have to move to a new fishing hole and they can take a while to respawn and they respawn randomly but in an area like this there's always a fishing hole which you can do now there's, there's no one spawn there this is my favorite spot to go fishing like i can spend hours here while doing a lot of stuff online yeah i said Normally I do the area, go back around here a few times to look. the fishing holes seem to be running out and then I, I move up to around here. I ignore this troll. And it's, you know, it spots down here and it goes all the way. Sometimes you have to fight a few moves to get rid of the spot, to get access to the spot. That's no biggie. Ah, we do get to see these guild throws. Ah, we can't open them anyway, so so use anyway. We get to the guild still line. That's all good. I'm just curious. I said I'm used to having these expansions, so. As you can see there's all these lakes all over and then you follow to there back down to here and you just do that run and when they seem to be getting less you just go back down to here now there are a few things that can help you get rarer fish there is something in the craft tree for champion points that increases the speed at which you can fish and that's really handy for us but there's also next to it um, there's the increase the chance of rare fish because it, it lets you fish alone but as if somebody else is there now for fit, catching perfect row we don't want that particular one because we don't want rare fish we want ordinary fish and there's also an and fish bowl, which does, does the same thing, increases your chance of getting rare fish, but, and, and basically, and also if you're fishing with somebody else or a group, it increases that chance too, but we don't want to do that, so. Now, oh, I'm going to head to River Spine and show you the next fishing spot. Okay, here we are in River Spine. Now, this spot's a really handy spot. Now we're here we're doing lake fishing. A uh, river fishing, sorry. Now you'll notice we've been picking up these insect parts everywhere. And the beauty of this spot is there's a lot of insects normally around. It looks like somebody else is fishing over there, so they've been harvesting the insects and in you don't always see people here but you no, know, it is a spot people do go to now. As you go around you see there's lots of there are insects you can pick up. So when you get from fishing hole to fishing hole, you just harvest the insects as you go along.
in the city. Um, all along this river, basically, the, there's chance of fishing holes to spawn. There isn't really enough for too many people to be fishing at the same time because they don't spawn that quickly and it's not as big of an area as in Bordenfeld. But basically, um, but for one person by himself, you, 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 you never run out of fishing holes. Now, that ends up, oops, that up there, where I'm pointing there, ends up back where we came from. So it's not a loop. And down here, there's more. Than you can do. You go that way, and then you push it across that way. And then sometimes you just push it along here. And along here. Now, if you go too far up this river, It, be, it, uh, it becomes salt water, so that night up there is probably salt water, and you need different type of bait for that than to river. So, and then you, once you're done down here, you run up here and around, basically back towards your location. So, and there is a way to run up here you can get to basically um, get back to the other location because there's a way to run right near the beginning. But I don't do that when I'm fishing. I just come back to the top of the falls there and then I head back up the river towards where um, that other guy was fishing before. So we won't be fishing today because that guy is there. Now, as I said, fishing can be pretty boring, but there's nothing you stopping you from when you happen to be going past the water hole and you haven't had that other bait on you or in your bank because at the moment those crawlers are actually in my bank, I believe. And so basically, um, and I can still fish with it, because they're not in my inventory, and they weren't in my inventory, so I can still fish with them. Um, but basically, um, yeah, so you can just sit there, take the front of the line, fish a couple of fish, use up the bait that's in your inventory while you're going past, and just pick the fish, and store the fish for later, and, have, and fill them when you've got a full stack. So. Before the Necron patch, when you wanted to fill up the fish and turn it into fish, basically the cooking ingredient, you had to basically, um, basically right click it and hit fill it. I think use was, or I thought it said fill it, but I, or use an add on, which took forever. But now that the Necron patch is out, you got, you got a cooking station, select it all. It's easy as pie, so it's really easy to do, and um, yeah, really fast. I hope you enjoyed my video, and have a nice day.